All right, welcome back to the stream, everyone. Uh, this is uh, Pat Attack. I'm joined here by uh, the Living Monkey. Hi, I'm glad to be here. I think it's going to be a good crew battle. Now, these two teams, um, I actually, my crew played JHU's other team yesterday. We won. Case Western, check us out. Um, I've heard this uh, this crew is actually potentially the better of the two that they have. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what they can do against Texas A&M. Yeah, I haven't seen much from either of these crews, but I'm uh, very excited looking at the rosters here. So JHU is running a pretty standard uh, Peach Sheik Falco Jigglypuff Fox, uh, starting with the Sheik. And, but Texas a and running Jigs, uh, Falco, Marth, Peach, and they have a Donkey Kong in the back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but all right, we're oh, getting right into it. Yeah. Some tech chases, and nice. Falco is so hard to tech chase, especially online. Oh knows? yeah. No, it's definitely tougher online. I mean, Falco, Falco online, is, just in general, is kind of the, the stereotypical. Uh, oh, okay. Really hard to deal with lasers, down airs. It's just, uh, it can be tough. <laughs> so, Yo, back, sub, thank, you. thank you so much for the subscription to the channel. Really appreciate it. Anybody else got their uh, Twitch Prime laying around? Uh, throw them in. So here we still have no stocks taken. Um, we have Hollow for uh, JHU. He's playing as Sheik versus Ali J from uh, Texas A&M. Uh, let's see, neither uh, of them are really. Falco has entered back air mode. All right, <laughs> love to see it. <laughs> we we'll get some off stage with a nice like weak hit reverse nair. I noticed he yeah, hasn't been able to. There. He hasn't been able to finish any of these oh. stocks. Oh, there we go. Need these edge guards. Right. Uh, was that a shield poke with the back air there? Yeah, I think uh, it was. He, uh, he might have been angling his shield downward a little bit. This is all looking really nice. Um, both players are playing very well right now. Nice and even. Just like we like, just like we like <laughs> to see. Beautiful. Uh, not too many uh, super long combos from either of these guys yet. Uh, good defense on both sides. Ooh, that's gonna be it. Yeah, Our good counter really does not do well once you get hit out of it. Oh, absolutely. Doesn't go very far. Hollow mm -hmm. down a whole stock practically. Have we'll to see if he can make it up. But he's getting no, that combo. That was really important when you're Sheik, uh, just because mm. your crouch canceling is so much weaker at that point. Sheik really struggles with that. Exactly. Percent. There's another down smash, and we are evened right back up. But now Falco's going to be able to crouch cancel most of what Sheik can do in neutral. Exactly. Except and that. Crouch cancel oh, that okay. crab. No. <laughs> it's like the one thing Sheik has against crouch cancel. Really. <laughs> it's a really good grab game. Yeah. But again, uh, Hollow uh, struggling Hollow? to edge guard here. Yeah, Ali's so Jay's the... pressure is looking clean today. Um, nope. Yeah, Hollow uh, nice not having a good time doing with that. Nice power shield. Doesn't get much off of it, though. Honestly, with the number of Falcos that you see on quick play regularly, um, I, for one, have no damn well. I've gotten so much better at getting the power <laughs> fields on Falco lasers. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, and looks like Ali J's feeling the same. Going for the same trick I typically do with the crouching so that the laser will mm. miss you if you're late. Yeah. I mean, in Sheik's crouch goes I... so low. Uh, and of course, the, the fair goes uh, so far, so... Good way to close out that stock there. And um, if I'm Ali J, I um, I really want to take this stock. You know, I was I was up a bit a bit, per, bit of percent, but Hollow gets he gets something started here. He might be able to take it. Yeah, I think going a little further on that, if you're Ali J, you really want to hold center stage right now. Falco yeah. can be a bit of a flightless bird sometimes. And she's <laughs> definitely got the edge guarding game to take advantage of that. He's in the corner. Oh, well, gets out. Nice back air. And oh, if he just, just went for the bear there, I think he would have had it. But instead, the Sheik is living. 
choke? <laughs> yeah, I think they're they're both getting a bit nervous here. They both want to take this stock and win the counter pick advantage for their team. Yeah. I, oh, oh no! Bro, get up! No! What is going on? Oh my He's god! He's dead. What? No! <laughs> she could have just oh grabbed god. Ed there. Oh. She was dead three times. That's gotta be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Time for shambles. <laughs> yeah. Oh um, I I don't know what to say no. about that ending there. Um. So we'll have to see who who they want to send in here. Um. Against Sheik. I mean. Honestly, none of their characters. You can send it, uh, really anybody. Um, yeah. I would think the best pick here would. Hmm. It's tricky. I want to say it's either your Marth or your Peach, because I feel like you want to save your Jigglypuff for the opponent's Peach. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Donkey Kong is going to get destroyed. Actually, no, then again, we did just see an insane 10-stock run from a Ganondorf. So uh, what do I know oh. about matchups? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who knows? Uh, what is a matchup, what anyway? They can do. What was that? What is a matchup, anyway? You know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no oh, such yeah, thing. Well, we got a match <laughs> Games. Uh, I want to give another quick shout out to uh, Fizzy for just making everything possible. Um, hit him up on Patreon if you haven't already. Um, Absolutely. If you're able, that, that guy. Just make sure I mean, that we keep getting good melee. What he's done for melee, um, just just with rollback, it's it's such a great thing, and at the time that we needed it the most, with you know IRL events off the table. Thank you to Huevo for the follow. A little bit goes a long way here. Uh, really appreciate everybody tuning in. And uh, yeah, make sure uh, you check out the stream calendar uh, located in our panels below so you can check the rest of the uh, spring 2021 circuit. I'll be running from now to, I believe, June. Uh, Lucky, correct me if I'm wrong. Until June. Uh, Going to be lots of hype matches, um, just like the ones that we're watching right now. Um, yeah, melee and every weekend. Every weekend, and um, it's going to be going from uh, these like pools where uh, everybody's just playing each other until into a top eight uh, bracket. So you're definitely going to want to check that out in June. It's going to be so hype. All right. Uh, do we have a counter pick yet from Johns Hopkins? Or sorry, no, there's uh, from Texas A&M. Oh, TZD. TZD, the Jigglypuff. That is the Jigglypuff. All right. Mm. Um, I'm a little surprised. It's interesting. I, I mean, naturally, it's always the one that I write off immediately as uh, wanting to save it for later that they throw in. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, you, should, you should do the predictions from here on out because what? Okay. What <laughs> sure, I'll do, I'll do some predictions. Um, yeah, no, it is, it is interesting to send in uh, – the Jigglypuff, I mean, especially, you know, Fox is considered pretty tough uh, matchup and they've still got their Fox uh, or JHU still has their Fox on the table. Um, and like you said, there are other characters that JHU has that, um, you know, especially the Peach, you might have expected the Puff to go up against. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see what uh, TZD can do uh, here, especially once uh, JHU has a chance to counterpick, assuming he does take this, this one true. stock here. I mean, maybe they sent in the peach. Maybe they're s saving the peach to make sure that they can avoid getting the same setup because uh, both teams have a peach and a puff. That's true, and that peach is Blue's Clues. Um, I don't know. I I, I really started hearing about this guy a lot in uh, 2020. He was making some some good runs. Uh, so I'm definitely watching out for for Blue's Clues to see what JHU can do against them because I, I think this guy could definitely take a lot of stocks here. Yeah, maybe uh, something to be afraid of there. Um, I guess if Blue's Clues is their best player, um, which you're making it sound like, um, they definitely want to save him more for the anchor spot. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, like you were saying, I, I think they might not want to have to put him in against a, a Jigglypuff because uh, even even for good players, bad matchups can, uh, can really uh, stop you in your absolutely. tracks. Now, what I really want to see is I want to see uh, JHU go for the puff ditto. Oh. <laughs> I think it would be hilarious. 
All right, yeah, so, so we're the audio warming up here, right now. Yeah, they're, they're warming <laughs> up. We'll show you the gameplay when they really get into it. Uh, we'll make sure you guys don't miss any <laughs> of the action. Or rather, Lucky will. We're just sitting here talking. Yeah. <laughs> we're not doing anything about that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. Day, oh, yeah, my day. Um, it's good. Just a pretty chill day. You know, I played, played a bit of Melee. <laughs> yeah. Typical about day you? in life. Um, same, I actually just woke up, played a little Melee. Um, got a little homework ton. I'm taking an online class. Uh, nothing crazy. And then, uh, popped into the stream. That's great. But yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> that goes back to uh, what we were saying about Fizzy, that we are just able to just, you know, hop on and play a little bit of Melee. It's, it's an amazing thing. Get a match in seconds. Oh, here we here are. We go. Um, maybe not. Okay, here we go. <laughs> right, so we're gonna have one stock of Sheik here. They are gonna, gonna start the match at uh, 7:40. We'll see. Sometimes uh, these puff counter picks against one stock, it can go real quick if he gets a rest, or it could take a whole minute or so. Just have to see. Puff, uh, looking pretty good with these crouches. Um, I know it's not actually the easiest thing to implement, crouching whenever you're on the ground and not shielding, but... Oh, yeah. Uh, if you keep that up, then she just can't grab you. <laughs> can't do much of any... Like, this platform needle game is really the best option she has against the low percent jigs. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is such a crazy counter pick. Um, especially since Puff dying here is, uh... Are we seeing the rest? Oh, uh, did uh, not get there in time. Uh, that's 80% already on this Puff. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a... Uh, sure quite kill just yet, but, uh... Hmm. I want to see the Zelda come out. <laughs> and it. Kicks, yeah. <laughs> it would be big if, uh... Paolo can, can take this one stock and just you know, preserve the advantage, you know? When you're a stock ahead, all you gotta do is, you know, go even. Um, and of course, uh, you know, Puff at a high percent. If you don't get that kill, then Puff pretty much gets like a, a big health boost. Next match starts at 0%. So, we'll have to see, uh, gonna get it here. Oh, oh, the Nair out of shield is going to take the stock. Wow. Very nice sheep play here. Um, Absolutely nice and patient. Doesn't want to get rested. <laughs> very nearly did, at least twice. Oh, yeah. Ola definitely wants to take another stock here. It's going to be tough at this percent, but... He hasn't been getting hit much. That might oh, be oh no. Ledge. You can't be doing that. Yeah. <laughs> like, holding onto the ledge as long as possible is pretty much the important thing. Oh my! He lets Especially go of the ledge she... again. He could have just done yeah. the thing. He won already. Just, just gotta press L. So yep. oh, and there we go. All right. So it doesn't lose a second stock for it. Thankfully. <laughs> yeah, that that's pretty bad. <laughs> Um, Texas A and M kind of across the board having that same issue with uh, winning the match and then giving the ledge back up. Yeah, and uh, letting Hollow keep playing. Just, just not finishing their edge guards, and especially against Sheik. I mean, Sheik. Uh, if you're holding ledge, she has one place to go, and then you know she has a lot of lag where you can hit her. So, um, definitely want to finish those edge guards up, but they don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, so Elbow, the fox, uh, is coming in, a uh, very traditional counter pick. Um, as I was saying earlier, it's considered a very good matchup for fox, probably Puff's worst. Um, so it'll be interesting to see um, if Elbow can can finish up these three stocks quick or if um, Texas A&M is going to run away with this lead. So I think it's JHU with the lead. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Or if Texas A&M &M is going to be able to close the gap. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry about yeah. that. <laughs> You're all good. I just didn't want to uh, give anybody the wrong idea here. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so they are sending in the Fox. Um, now, 
Um, who do you play? I play Dr. Mario. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How about okay. you? Uh, I'm a Marth player. Um, Marth. So what I will say, though, about this matchup is it seems like of the six stages we have, right, there are three that are really good counter picks for Fox. There mm. are two that are kind of neutral, and then there's one that's really good for Puff. Absolutely. Um, so if we only get one ban, it's going to be either Yoshi's stage. Okay. The ban was so the stage I mentioned, FD, and they are going Pokemon. Uh, first thing I think of when I hear this is, uh, you ever see those uh, Melee is Broken videos? Yeah. Uh, so they did a demo of how early Puff dies to Fox on this stage. He was like, <laughs> up throw, up air, killed like below 50. Wow. <laughs> Um, that's got to be like with no cr or crappy DI, but yeah. still, your range of kill confirms working if your fox is going to be the widest on this stage. You have plenty of room to run. Yeah. I actually think this is the worst stage in the matchup. I am surprised it was the. I'm surprised it was not the van. I mean, it, it's just like you were saying though. There's there's three stages that are definitely very rough, so it'd be hard it's to choose. You know. Which one, and it might be, preference. yeah, personal preference, absolutely. But yeah, no, Stadium, Fox, as you said, has a lot of room to use his speed. Um, if he wants to laser camp, uh, he can, and then he still kills very, very early, so. Yeah, absolutely. So and that's, uh, yeah, this is kind of why it was interesting that uh, <laughs> they sent in the puff right away, um, but we'll see what TZD can do here. You can take a, a few stocks, um, at least it, it won't be too bad for Texas A&M. Nah, four up throw rests. We'll settle for <laughs> nothing left. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I go for anytime I play Puff. <laughs> True. Uh, I like going for a lot of like up air, landing up air, mm. or up tilt kind of things. Yeah. Uh, just they expect it a little bit less. <laughs> that and the only up air like, works on non spaces too. Exactly. Right. So. One stock loss. Right? This might be a hand warmer. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> okay. A little bit of a lapse in judgment, but... We also so get some... Probably it's 740. Yeah, there we go. And we're getting into it. Alright. One back there right. so far. <laughs> Let's see. I'm surprised they didn't go for the rest off of that. So, yeah, I mean, heck. especially at a zero percent. I don't um, need it. But I mean, or maybe they do actually. Yeah, Cause... I don't know. I mean, yeah, he... too long, like two seconds later. So <laughs> he hasn't quite been able to close out these edge guards. Um, even though he keeps getting him off stage. Um, yeah, he had the same issue against the Sheik uh, last game. Yeah. Yeah, so he gets burned. Yeah, no, that's definitely rough. I mean, he's still up a lot of percent, but uh, he's just letting him back for free. And, you know, any hit after that is the potential to lose an extra stock. Okay, finally hits him and closes out that stock. Taking a bit more percent. Um, yeah, I could have seen the fox getting more yeah. off of a punish. So uh, maybe a good call on not going for it then? It's possible. Uh, I don't know. Jack uh. Let's see. Ooh. Gets out of that one. This is always a really tense situation when you're puff above well, <laughs> like, a, like 50 on this 50, map. Yeah. <laughs> hit Bed Fox at any point. Yeah. Like just like that, you can just die. Yeah. No, Fox, he has... um. He's one of the characters that actually has a lot of good options to kill Puff. Um, part of what makes this matchup so scary. Um, and unfortunate, ooh, uh, spicy angle there. Yeah, fortunate angle oh, there, no. but oh no! You not I was gonna see that, Mr. John Hopkins. Uh, it was over a hundred, so it wasn't that bad. But that was that's you don't want to see that. Oh, oh there it is. So uh, TZD has now taken five stocks. And uh, that has uh, JHU kind of doesn't really have too many good options to counterpick Jigglypuff now. Yeah, we might I be seeing that. 
Oh, they do. I could see them hmm. sending in the Falco too. Um, True. Though they get to ban Yoshi's, so. Yeah, and we Maybe just saw. I mean, I don't know. You know we just saw. Um, okay, yeah. Oh, we are right. getting the Puff Pedo with Doctor C versus uh, TZD. Please I guess um. But I guess they yeah. might have saw um how how well uh, TZD performed against Fox, and uh, I mean in the matchup, Falco is considered a, a bit worse, I would say. So maybe they were afraid um you would just take those stocks pretty easily too. Yeah, so um, chat seems to be asking. So the remainder of the Texas A&M crew. So we saw Ali J. Um, TZD's out now. They have Jay Walker, the Donkey Kong, Air, the Marth, otherwise known as Discount Zane, <laughs> and uh, Blue Clues, the Peach. Um, I'm feeling good, Zug. Thanks for asking. How are you? The band oh, they banned. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, I so I think some videos are hilarious, but on Dreamland? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yes. The, this is actually something we, that may become relevant very soon. Um, so the policy for timeouts is we're going to do a stock subtraction, right? So if literally nothing happens this entire game, um, so Dr. C is going to come in with four stocks um, to start. TZD is coming in with two. Um, if all the stocks are remaining when the timer ends, we simply subtract like the remaining stocks from the player with less from the player that has more and then move on with the battle new counter pick from the team who had fewer stocks on that player so in this case uh tzd would lose his two remaining stocks dr c would go down to and then Texas a and m would have to send in another player really hoping we don't have to pull <laughs> that rule out not gonna lie because uh well um especially since uh dreamland is the the ban um I'm expecting that it, it will not time out, only two stocks. Um, but you never know. It might just... Uh, I can see a one-stock subtraction <laughs> happening, maybe. But it also depends on how these puffs play. Um, yeah. TZD was going in, trying to get stuff. Like, I didn't see ledge planking. So... Definitely. It's tough. So we'll have to see um, how Dr. Z approaches it, I suppose. Or Dr. C, rather, uh, <laughs> approaches it. Okay, so we have TZD as a green puff. Um, I'm not sure what Dr. C is going to be, but should be able to tell them apart from that. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Uh, yeah, we'll be able to tell once one of the puffs starts SDing at the beginning of the match. So, yeah. <laughs> hang in there, guys. We'll get there. So, yeah, so now let's students. say... Let's say they do manage to knock out um, the opposing Puff. If you're Texas A&M, who do you think you'd send in against uh, Jigglypuff? Well, I don't know how good um, Air is against uh, Puff, but given his uh, nickname here, Discount Zane, um, Zane is a player very professional. Exactly. So, yeah, um, I'm totally with you there. So I, I feel like if if he's as confident in uh, the matchup as uh, me and you are confident in his ability in the matchup, just from that, um, well, then oh, we yeah, might so be it seeing is as green puff headband and Dr. C as neutral. Um, I'm going to Fountain. Yeah. I love Quick Fountain. Side, <laughs> how neutral puff is the worst puff skin. Because um, if you yeah. have the opportunity to wear a hat and you choose not to wear a hat, <laughs> you're it's uncivilized. You're, you're naked. Wear a hat. Hats are cool. Yeah. You know what? After this game, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get a hat. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, meantime, we're gonna see a lot of back air. I'm glad they picked Fountain one because this stage has got some pretty uh, narrow side blast zones. And if sure. we see a kill that isn't with a bear, um, I'm gonna be very surprised. Yeah. I mean, maybe. Some sort of arrest, but uh, it's definitely tough um, in the in the ditto to get arrest. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, Zog, you can vote for whoever you want. I'm supposed to be an impartial commentator here. <laughs> um. 
Yeah, yeah, vote for Puff. That's, yeah. a, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, uh, there's our first stock down. Uh, looks like uh, Dr. C is going to get that one. Oh, and it's right right back right up, away. Right back uh, who would have thunk it? Yeah. All right, it's obviously go for, uh, a go for a near rest. Come on. <laughs> Not not a ton of uh, combo potential in this matchup. It's just uh, you you hit one back air and float away. <laughs> so uh, been pretty Shut pretty up. even. Here. Yeah, this is just going to be a spacing and footsies kind of game. Which, uh, really cool if you're into Street Fighter. I actually saw, I think it was at one Evo one year, some interviews they did with a bunch of Street Fighter players about Melee, and they thought Jiggins was actually one of the most <laughs> interesting characters in the game. It's because it played kind of like they're used to. Yeah. I know, um, like, a bunch of FGC people uh, also go nuts for, like, wobbling and stuff. They just, uh, <laughs> it's just, like, like the wobbling? opposite of that. Huh? I don't think, oh. I don't think that's a lot. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they. I, I feel like they're they're always into stuff that uh, you know the melee community maybe isn't. I mean, so, uh, that's why we play different games, right? Absolutely. <laughs> well, I do think. Oh, yeah. it's really interesting. Oh, and oh. the F smash. It's, uh, was it really casting the game? Yeah, it was a three minute game to take two stocks, but uh, all right. So that's We're done uh, with it now. Eleven to twelve, tight battle here. Um, so tight. Texas A and M. Uh, I'm hoping to see that mark. Let me go get that hat. Actually, yeah. I'll be right back. No, yeah, um, definitely. I'd love to see some uh, some good Marth Puff action. Um, and again, of course, all depends on Air's proficiency in the matchup. It's it's definitely a matchup that can be tough for Marth. Um, but it's it's also going to be a matchup that's that's pretty tough for uh, Donkey Kong and Peach. Um, so either of those picks would also would probably be more surprising than the Marth. Um, I don't. I don't really know what Donkey Kong can do against Puff. Um, uh, he he's got a good back air, but uh, I think Puff's is a bit better. <laughs> and uh, Peach, uh, as we all have seen uh, many times, is can be very tough. I mean, some some Peaches are starting to figure it out. It seems like, but um, and, and uh, uh, we have yeah, confirmation. You got one right here. Marth is incoming. We're going to see some discount Zane. Just what I like to see. You guys know just uh, Marth there is always up on the screen while I'm talking. So uh, <laughs> I like Marth. <laughs> yeah, should be um, should be exciting to see. Um, it's a very fun matchup to watch if uh, the Marth knows what he's doing. And if not, I guess it's still fun to see uh, the Marth get back aired a lot as uh, someone who's oh, not a huge fan of Marth. <laughs> oh, yeah, you play a plumber. Yeah. <laughs> The universal truth all across the Smash Bros. franchise. Plumbers hate swords. Just yeah, it is. <laughs> it's it's a bit of a rough match. <laughs> eh, do they? Um, I my understanding was that Peach and Mario are canonically just friends. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think that might be the case. Uh, <laughs> when they kiss, it's uh, it's on the cheek. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> so it looks and like he's got um, the much uh, smoother mustache, and he's the taller one. He jumps higher. <laughs> he's got everything going for him, really. Just doesn't have any confidence. All right, so we got uh, the Crimson Marth right here. Mm. Really going Big for fan. the discount Zane. Oh, look at these raw pivots. Mm. I like this. Oh, we're yeah, gonna see. We're gonna see a game here. Yeah, no. Um, Air is saying, "Doctor C, look what I can do!" And quake in your boots. <laughs> what a power move! Yeah, <laughs> I can't do that. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Jesus. Well, I, I think we're gonna I be mean, in for, for a good afraid. match here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very afraid. Then again, uh, pivot tippers, they're not everything. Just because you can do them doesn't mean you're going to win. Uh, and well, Dr. C. True. I mean, QQU's yeah. known how to do the pivot tippers mm -hmm. since, what, 2015, if you see that Apex set. Yeah. But uh, he hasn't beat HBox since. So. Exactly. 
Yeah, that was that was the first time he really he really brought it out and caught Hbox off off guard, I would say. And since then, he hasn't been able to get it. Um, ooh, let's see. Oh, that's a lot of pairs. Ooh, oh my wow. god, <laughs> ooh, that's already a stock. Uh, even crew battle here. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for the banana. Um, I honestly, I think a reverse Ken combo might have connected there. Or not a reverse Pal Ken combo, but Pal. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's definitely the thing about this matchup is uh, the Marth stocks can can disappear quick if you don't use your jump wisely. Yeah, this is Puff uh, at Marthritis percents. Um, you're just mm. gonna be looking for like a raw F smash or maybe some setup into an up tilt at this point. Uh, those snares are gonna do some nice spacing, but yeah, you're not. Oh, that back air might have almost sealed it. It's very scary. Oh, yeah, there, there's no All right, let me uh, put some Marth emotes in the chat. <laughs> yeah, air at at seventy percent here. Um, any of these back airs uh, will knock him off stage, which is gonna be a very scary position. Or We're a uh, forward throw. Yeah, Dr. C, again, um, struggling to uh, finish out these edge guards. <laughs> nice, nice F smash to finish it up. Um, we're back to even. Wow. Nice pairs, good damage, good damage. This is pivot tipper percent. I think we're still in the window. I'm not entirely <laughs> sure now. Ooh. All right, now, now we're out. Uh, yeah. Now, now we're going to be looking for another up tilt or raw something again. Oh, 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 smash. There we go. <laughs> let's, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, Dr. C, um, definitely uh, nice there, keeping the crew battle. Yeah. Oh my god, he just. Wow. <laughs> just... What a All of these kills, just raw <laughs> F smash. He misses the reverse on the forward air, so that he's still alive. Oh, so, but that back air. getting a oh. little bit of damage on this one, but... Oh, he's living again! Oh! And he makes it back. If Air can take this stock here, he's gonna... This would be huge make... for yeah. Texas a and Yeah. Be up two stocks. Jigglypuff off the table. Let's see what can happen. 83, 84. Oh my gosh. And All he right. finishes that card. Wow. So, yeah, so no uh, air just like doesn't want to get, get rested. <laughs> like it's going to be another up tilt or something here. Mm -hmm. uh, we are definitely outside of that pivot working. So Jigglypuff can rest a little easy despite what it looks like. Uh, no pun intended, yeah. of course. <laughs> um, please, please don't let me curse him. Oh, oh my um, God, nowhere! He got up smashed! Alright, there, there it there's is. There's an up tilt. Finishes it up. Air. Air with the fly killer setup. Very nice. And um, now uh, Texas A&M has a one stock lead. Um, JHU down to the last two players. And those um, last two players are a... I believe it's Peach and Falco. Yes, uh, yours the Peach and Jackson Kaner the uh, Falco. You got to so, send um, in the Peach here. Yeah, I mean neither. I I don't like either of these against Marth, but man, like with one stock of Marth remaining, Peach could sh should at least like trade. Um, yeah. Lose two at the absolute worst, but Falco stocks can just get melted. Yeah, no, I would definitely say though these are both uh, pretty rough matchups. Um, Falco is going to be way more volatile. I mean, <laughs> how many times have we seen you know Mango just get grabbed all, uh, at the and end? If you're you know, only <laughs> got one stock. You don't want volatility. Um, good Dreamline ban. Uh, we hate to see that stage. So, <laughs> so um, possibly uh, Yoshi's coming out. Um, See. Possibly. Or sorry, it's the Peach in. I was thinking uh, Falco. Got it, so I think you go. Actually, I think you go Stadium. Because Peach wants to have room to be able to pull turnips out, right? Right. Like, without turnips, like, this matchup is free for Mark. 
Right. Yeah, I guess stadium makes sense. Uh, with turnips, uh, sometimes you can just use turnips if the Marth is bad enough. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going battlefield. You know, I actually do like this pick as well. Um, Peach, sometimes when you get to the really high percents, like, is gonna die off that same side B up air, or sorry, side B up tilt setup we were seeing earlier. The, right. All the floats. So, um, having Pokemon Stadium top blast zone makes that much easier for Marth to get. So, right. yeah, Battlefield's a good pick. I guess Peach doesn't have none. Oh, uh, wow. that's a lot of damage. Yeah, we're seeing uh, how rough this matchup can be. Here's a shot of have Marth's disjoint, so it's. Yeah. And it can be very hard to, to come down um, at Peach when you don't have your float. Um, so we'll have to see how, um, how yours can hopefully adapt and take this stock without uh, uh, losing, you know, two of his own, maybe. Getting some percent here. Ooh, maybe he won't even lose one. So close to connecting. Uh, good I know, I really thought it would. Very close. Yeah, no. This is suddenly really close. Uh, Peach lived this long sometimes. He definitely. Right. Yeah. There's the kill, but Peach would definitely have died a few hits ago on Stadium. So. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna say good counter pick by ears. As long as he Ooh. can take this stock. Um. That's a, that's oh a wow. Great turnaround. Wow. That was that was a great edge guard. Um. So that's gonna be. Uh, three stocks of Peach and a Falco left for JHU, and uh, Texas A&M still has their own Peach, and uh, Jay Walker's Donkey Kong. Um, yeah. I, think, I think you go for the Peach Ditto here. Yeah. Um, um, I think you say, like, the easily the best remaining matchup for um, Donkey Kong is that Falco, right? Uh, I don't know if yeah. you've seen DK combos on spaces, but <laughs> oh, never oh, mind. Jay Walker is coming in. <laughs> As per usual, yeah. I'm wrong. They may be uh they may be banking on a, a lack of map experience here, because I mean DK, um, even against characters like Peach, he, he can get some uh some solid hits uh off of like a, a cargo throw. Um, you know, cargo throw up air. Yeah. Um Mm -hmm. And that can that can kill pretty early, especially if he chains a few few up airs there together. Yeah, um, <laughs> Luffy, do we have background music? And if so, can we make it the DK rap? <laughs> Wait, really? Oh yeah, um, copyright. <laughs> yeah. Um, what if I pulled up? Uh, I don't know if you saw the matchups that were going around lately of uh, Final Fantasy VII's One Winged Angel and uh, the DK oh. rap. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe that'll. Do you think we could? We could you think we could pull up some One Wing Kong? Okay. All right. Damn. <laughs> Thanks for following, Jmu. Um, okay. Yeah. No, I um I definitely like uh, seeing some monkey. <laughs> Yeah, uh, reject humanity, return to monkey. Uh, yes. <laughs> now, no. The question here is: Has Jay Walker rejected humanity? That's going to be, uh, I think, the key to winning this crew battle. <laughs> the Texas A and M. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely interested to see. You know, from from DK, um, we're definitely uh, going to see. Uh, or I, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to say definitely, but a lot of back airs um back air can uh, definitely be good um mm -hmm. has a lot of range um and i mean I, again if dk can get it grabbed can get some stuff going should be good i want to see this uh this monkey <laughs> and for peach um i think you kind of just want to like not let him in you know kind of just wall him out you know, maybe use a lot of turnips, uh, use a lot of float cancels. Should be good. 
And actually, um, I will say, uh, Falco DK can be pretty rough. Um, oh, that's true. How the especially, uh, a I think I'm gonna do that. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, we're right. back, we're back, we're back. Oh, we're back? Hey. Uh, welcome back, everybody. <laughs> oh, whoa. We, uh, yeah, right we've it. already had stock gone from uh, years here. Um, yeah. The neutral monkey. Um, I'm definitely more of a fan of the gray babe. But... Gray babe, yeah. <laughs> I play blue. <laughs> yeah, no, um. Jay Walker showing some proficiency in the matchup. I'm assuming we didn't get to see. Um, DJ dash attack. Interesting choice. Um, I that move sucks. <laughs> yeah. 83, I think off one conversion there. Yeah, no, that um, that was that's pretty good by ears. Um, I will fully respect picking the character that you think is really good, or if you have a lot of fun with, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean Dr. Mario. Mario. Play the game, like, play someone who can do things. Yeah. <laughs> um... Oh, never yeah. mind, looks like I can do things. <laughs> yeah, no, no, Jay Walker, um, is using that cargo throw, um, up air really well to close out these stocks, and it looks like Ears is, is having a bit of trouble actually taking these stocks. <laughs> yeah, the, the ding dong. <laughs> That cargo up throw to up air. Yeah. And yeah, that used to kill at like just stupid early percents. <laughs> so much fun. And like DK still got nasty grab stuff in every game, but man, yeah. Smash 4 DK else. Yeah, especially with uh with that rage there. <laughs> what a horrible Crazy mechanic. Man. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're not we playing play that right. game, thankfully, yeah. <laughs> so uh you know, ears keeping it respectable, but uh, Jay Walker definitely, uh, definitely taking stocks with the ape. Definitely showing us that he has returned to Monkey. <laughs> oh my god, is that upper gonna do it? Wow. Holy smokes. Yeah, great, great yeah, conversion like... off that down air. Yeah, Pokemon Stadium's a great anti peach stage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so that puts, uh, I believe, Hopkins. No. That puts Hopkins on their last player. It was a uh, Jackson Canner, or sorry, Jackson Cannery. Um, spreadsheet I'm looking at cut it off a little bit. Yeah, it um, but he was playing Falco. Yeah, so that's that's definitely going to be a rough matchup. Um, as I was saying, actually, right before the stream cut out, uh, lasers uh, they're tough to avoid with DK, and unfortunately, they they turn you around, so you can't back air. Uh, which is always really rough because back air should be like a really good way to deal with lasers. It has great range, but um, you just get turned around and, and you can't do it. Um, so, hey, so I didn't know that. yeah. Um, and nice. so BK, uh, he, he's going to be looking for grabs. Um, he has arguably the best chain grab on spaces because you're allowed to move back to the center of the stage and not let platforms mess it up. Um, yeah, once you get it, it's yeah. That's rough. And then um, once they're out of the, the range, you just up air them 20 times and, and they're dead anyway. Um, so I'm hoping we can we can see Jay Walker get get some some good uh, grabs here. You know, I think here's what I want to see. I want to see one. I want to see one really <laughs> good grab combo. But I want to see Jackson Cannery pull it out because I, I definitely want oh. like a close, close uh, final game here. 
Absolutely. And then it, it'll be a pleasure. Uh, I want to see either one or I want to see four. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, it would definitely be a pleasure if we got to see uh, Blues Clues play tonight. Um, but of course, um, I mean, I'm going to get hyped for DK if he just goes off. <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not going to complain about that. <laughs> I, I totally want to see that. Seeing a Ganon go off in the first yeah. set I watched and then a Donkey Kong go off in the second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a, what a day for Melee. What a day. And of course the other thing. Um, Thanks uh, you know, again to all the new followers. Oh yeah, absolutely. And the other thing is um, Falco, of course, uh, pretty easy to edge guard. So. DK can get him off stage. Uh, he's going to be edge guarding there. Lots of new followers. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, make sure to share the stream with your friends, family, enemies, you know, whoever might be interested in watching. <laughs> and hey, um, if if you're at a college and um, you got some some friends who play Melee and and you're not involved with this, uh, go to the website and uh, check it out. And you can you can sign up to participate in this uh, circuit. It, it's it's really sick. It's a great way to. Uh, bring like the the community together and um you know play some good melee and um you know if you have if you have some friends at your college absolutely just get them together yeah if you have five people from your school that's enough for a crew um i think signups for the circuit for this round are um definitely closed but, but... there's late registration oh there is yeah no <laughs> luck I I, I I yesterday i said that it was closed and then and then lucky got in my ear no, there's actually late registration, and I was like, oh. <laughs> no one okay, reads yeah. the circuit posts. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I definitely read it, but I thought, I didn't know it was going to last, like, a week. This late registration, it, it seems like it's lasting a while. I don't know. And you better, you better right, get yeah. in there fast and sign up for your team. Oh, you, you know, I was trying in. to do that, because like I didn't want people to be like, oh, we'll sign up, like, after the first couple weeks. Oh, yeah. But now that everyone has tried to sign up, everyone now, if they missed it, can sign up. <laughs> oh, word. Okay. So at the end of the day, though, um, yeah, thanks, uh, Clean Water, for uh, sticking the link in this chat. Um, yeah, even if you don't have a full team of five people, uh, the Intercollegiate Slippy Discord is a great uh, resource, finding friendlies, uh, learning more about what we do and about when we're streaming. So uh, do we have a, yeah, we have the Discord link in the chat. Feel free to hop on in if you're a college Melee enthusiast or player. And you know, who knows, um, even if you can't get a team this year, um, it's possible that uh, we have another circuit. Um, you have more people, it's great to already be in the Discord so you know all the information about it, stay up to date. So, right, so we have Walker. Land. Yeah, okay. uh, definitely DK is, I think, worst stage. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be rough. We wanted to avoid Falco on Yoshi's. Um, but yeah, like we, we're seeing those lasers you were talking about here. Yeah. I'm, there, but I'm going to look yeah, for no, uh... I haven't seen it yet. Oh, that's a, that could have been a big opening. All yeah. Right. Hard to some... with DK though. <laughs> oh. Oh, the neutral guy. Neutral guy. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh, that that was crazy. <laughs> brought him up to the, brought him up to the, uh, the, the the top platform to die. You know, <laughs> we may see this crew battle end right here. Honestly, I think uh, Jackson's definitely going to. That might be that crowd oh. might be a death falco. Oh, not quite. Oh, power shield though. Power shield drop. That double oh. that wow, and we're we're even in this game, and you know Texas A&M has a whole nother player. So even if even if Jackson manages to take this here, it's going to be an uphill battle. Oh my god! Wow. Fifty-five percent. I yeah, know Jackson. Yeah, he, he, had a neutral. <laughs> he, he's definitely making uh, these these up airs, these openings. Up. 
Yeah, that's the thing about DK though. He has he has really good uh, moves, but like a really bad body. <laughs> if he gets through this, he hasn't taken a stock yet. But if he does manage to get through this, he's going up against Blue's Blues. Yeah. So this is looking like a wrap for uh, Texas A&M. Yeah. yeah. Fair. That's another dead bird. Yeah, Jay Walker wants to end it right here. He says, we don't need Blue's Clues. And Jackson agrees. He just he just runs off. I don't know if that was misinput, but either way, uh, Texas A&M takes it um, over over uh, Johns Hopkins' uh, mixed team. Holy crap. Yeah, uh, that's uh, going to be a quick concession there from uh, Johns Hopkins. Yeah. And 